guys, it's Melanie, and today I am back with another DIY video. I love a good DIY. Anyway, I bought this basket from Dollar Tree, and I painted it to look all weathered-esque. I don't know. I'm going to show you guys how I did it, so here we go. If you're new here, I love a good DIY. I love a good like dollar store DIY. I love to get anything from the Dollar Tree and then just like upcycle it. So I think you guys do too. One of my most popular videos is actually where I took a uh, basket from the dollar store and made it look like a Pottery Barn basket. So I wanted to show you guys this. It's super easy. This is from Dollar Tree. It is a, It was a dollar. Um, and then I just took some acrylic paint, which is like 60 cents or something from the craft store without a coupon. You can get it for cheaper than that. Anyway, um, and I made this super simple, you guys. You literally don't really need any painting skills to do this at all. So I'm going to show you guys how I made this look um, in the video. That's, that's it. All right. Anyway, here's the DIY. Alrighty, and voiceover time. So this is what the basket looked like before. It was just in like the little home section of Dollar Tree. And of course it was a dollar because you know, it's from Dollar Tree. Okay, so supplies. You would need a cup of warm water and then an empty cup to mix the paint in the water into. Um, you will also need a brush, kind of, you know, any type of brush. I prefer a large one for this kind of project. They were literally just a dollar pack of like wall paint brushes at the Dollar Tree. Um, and you know, it works really well for this project. You can literally use any paintbrush you want because the whole point is to be kind of messy with it. You could use this paintbrush from Dollar Tree from like a kid's paint set, anything, because the whole point is for it to be a little like dry and rugged. So it doesn't have to be like the best paintbrush in the world. I am going on about paintbrushes. Then you need your paint. Um, for this particular project, um, I'm using white as the base color. You can always just use, you know, just white. I'm also using blue. Um, as like the undercoat color that shows through and then I want gray so I'm gonna I had to get black in order to mix it with the white so anyway you know choose whatever colors you want it's great to use like several colors so you get several layers okay so for the first step I want this to be a little more white um, than it is for the undercoat I think it would look great um, it would look it would look better than the blonde color of the basket so to whitewash it you just need to add equal parts water to the paint um actually if you want it a little more thinner and like just kind of barely showing you can add more water if you want it a little more thicker you can add more um of the paint but basically you just mix it in i recommend using warm water because i just feel like it mixes the paint a little bit better this is me deciding i added too much water for what i needed so anyway you just mix equal parts water and paint it's super simple easy peasy after you're done mixing it, you can kind of actually drag it up the side if you use a glass or like a mason jar um, and it kind of shows you like how thick the texture is and the consistency, just the tip. Um, but yeah, that's basically all it is. It's super simple. So I just painted the whole entire basket with, for this layer because I wanted it to be white. Um, and it ended up being, um, it wasn't as opaque as I wanted. So I had to add a couple layers. Um, and I do recommend just literally like brushing it in, like packing it in. This is a very thin paint. So you don't have to worry about making it like too thick or like, I don't know, like a bunch of like clotted up paint or anything. It works pretty well. Um, but I like just kind of brushing it back and forth, kind of brushing it in all the creases and stuff. And again, it's really thinned out. So you don't have to worry about like big clumps of paint or anything. So here's what it looked like after the first layer for me before it dries, it will dry matte. You do have the option of course, of taking a dry rag and kind of running it over. If you just want like a light wash and that's all you're doing, it looks actually pretty awesome whenever you're whitewashing certain colors. Um, I chose to do it because I like put too thick of a layer, not too thick, but it was so runny that it kind of dripped a little bit. Um, so I like to wipe it off, but it looks something like this. Um, and I kind of like it that way too, but I wanted it to be different colors and then, oh yeah, don't forget to paint the inside. So this is what it looked like dry after two coats of the white. It was the color that I wanted to, so then I wanted to add um, a blue color. So whatever color you're gonna add now is not gonna show through as much. It'll just barely be underneath your top coat. 
So I chose this blue color because we have a lot of blues in our living room and then I wanted to do like a gray on top and then the blue like just barely kind of shows through. Um, so I mixed it up with some water to water it down but I didn't make it as liquidy because I wanted to make sure it would be seen pretty well and that it would show up um, good on top of the white. Okay, so this is kind of dry brushing, meaning you have to kind of dry out some of the paint off um, before you put it on. So it goes on kind of like this. So the whole point is to dip it in your water and then dry it off on a paper towel just a little bit. And then sh whenever you do your strokes, go all the way to one side and all the way to the other and then brush very lightly. And then you end up with something like this. Okay, the top two coats, um, I chose two different shades of gray, so it kind of had like that contrast. Um, I, I thought I was gonna have to make my own gray, but I found a gray paint, I was excited. Anyway, um, the lighter gray I chose to go first, and then a little tiny touch of darker gray um, went on top. So this layer, um, it's just barely watered down, and it's, it's pretty much just dry brushing. So barely water down your paint, and then dab most of your paint off of your brush before you start brushing and then very lightly go over it back and forth until you get um, as much paint on as you want. I wanted just a little bit of blue to show through so I went over it quite a lot back and forth and if you have barely any paint um, it does take a little bit of time um, to go over it but I'm super happy with how it looked um, and then I did all of the sides and this is what it looked like and then I decided that I wanted um, to add that darker tiny hint of a layer on top of the gray so um, I just added a little bit of black to the gray that I already had to kind of darken it up a little bit after I was done mixing um, I took almost all of the paint off of the brush um, because the top layer is like you know it's barely there just a little like accents I guess so I took literally mo almost all of the paint off of the brush the technique is kind of similar as the previous layer but you just barely touch it and then just go back over it you know as many times as you hope for i guess like to kind of get the texture and contrast that you're looking for it's really super easy i swear guys um just do the back of the basket first but um i find that laying down the brush makes it i don't know a better look for me like the what i'm looking for anyway and i also did not weather um the top part like the little rim i just did the bottom part in just a couple strokes and that's all it took you guys for the top layer so here is the before you know simple dollar tree basket for a dollar and here is the after i super love this i'm probably going to make a couple more i love how super easy this was and it was only what a dollar i love it so that is it just guys really super easy peasy i love the way this looks i love the way it contrasts everything and if you can see these little tiny dots in the back that's because i may or may not have um splashed my wall with acrylic paint i did wash it over once it looks like i need to wash it again oops anyway be careful because if you do splash the acrylic paint on your like clothing while you're painting um it does not come off of clothing just be aware of that but anyway that is it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll link my other dollar store DIYs and everything else down below. Um, I'm also going to be posting this to my Home Talk page. If you do not follow me at Home Talk, please do. I love that site. It's all things DIY. Um, also, I'll be linking it to Pinterest and my blog, etc., etc. You guys, etc., etc. Yes, I can speak. Anyway, that is it. Please stay and subscribe. Bye, y'all. Love you.